Long ago, in the part of the world now known as Switzerland, a small village named Villen, near the town of Stans, was being terrorised. There had been sightings of a dragon-like creature, and cattle were going missing. Residents of Villen began to flee to live elsewhere, and word was getting around that it was becoming deserted. A group of the villagers gathered and, armed with crossbows, set out in search of the supposed dragon. Eventually, they caught sight of something. A scaly creature. They crept close and aimed their crossbows, but the creature spotted them and took off, climbing a steep slope with a speed the villagers could not match. They attempted to hunt it down numerous times, but the creature always escaped. News of Villain's troubles travelled and reached a man named Heinrich von Winkelried, otherwise known as Struth. He was originally from Villain, but had been cast out for manslaughter. Struth returned to Villain and was confronted by some of the villagers. Winkelried, you were banished from Villain and all surrounding areas. What are you doing here? I am here to make you an offer. If I can single-handedly hunt down and kill this dragon, then will you allow me to return to this land? They considered his request. The village was in a desperate situation, and so it was agreed. Struth left to seek out the dragon with nothing but a sword strapped to his belt and a spear, which he had modified by adding sharp barbs at the pointed end of it. He headed to the nearby Mount Pilatus, where it had been seen numerous times. He spotted the beast, but as he drew closer, the beast saw him as well. This time, instead of fleeing, the dragon saw that instead of a crowd of attackers, this was just a singular man, and so lunged forward towards Struth with its jaws wide open. Struth planted himself in place, and as the dragon came down upon him, he roared and thrust the spear into its chest. Take that, you beast! He pulled his sword from his belt and sliced and stabbed at the dragon, whilst holding it in place with his barbed spear. Finally, the dragon let out its last breath. It was defeated, and Struth was victorious. <laughs> you are no match for me! He exclaimed and held his sword aloft in triumph. The dragon's blood ran down the blade and dripped onto Struth. He gasped as it hit his skin. It was burning him. He collapsed to the ground. A while later, when Struth did not return, a search party left from the village. They saw the dead, scaly body of the creature on the ground, and next to it, Struth who was shivering and sick. You did it, Struth. You've killed the dragon. Struth did not respond. They carried him back to the village and got him to a bed to rest and recover. That beast has poisoned me. Its blood is poison. He was croaking out in a delirium. A few days later, Heinrich von Winkelried was dead. <laughs>